What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is the Wednesday's weekly report, and I know we haven't done this since, uh, what was it, December 2nd. It's been a little while. Every Wednesday, we've been doing the city results and preparation with Andrew Wambolt. And since that is over, the Wednesday's weekly report will start back up. And we have missed a lot since December 2nd, but instead of just covering everything that we missed, I'm going to cover the five uh, things that I think are the biggest announcements, or maybe the five biggest announcements to me. They might not be the biggest five announcements overall. And if you don't know, once again, shout out to Poker Beach. They do all these updates always, and they always are free. And it's great to see that somebody is reporting all the stuff Pokemon. And it's cool to see what's going on throughout the game and everything else in the community. So if you want to see everything that's been happening in Pokemon, make sure you always check out Poke Beach every day. It seems like they have something else new coming out. Uh, I'll pull up Poke Beach real quick. We'll go to the website. And I'll just show you how it looks like. If you've never seen Poke Beach before, here it comes. And here is uh, the Poke Beach. You know, they got all these things right here. You know, it's got all these announced bits and stuff. And some people say they don't like this new layout. It's just because they're not used to it. Um, like, let's say you just want to know about TCG. You can click here, and there's TCG. You know, they got some some uh, information, and then they might have articles. Oh, they think the articles are right here. Yeah, the articles are right here. Everything about TCG is right here. Everything about that video game right here is uh, anime, other stuff. So, you know, it's got a lot of information on this website. Make sure you check it out if you haven't seen Poke Beach before. But like I said, there's five new announcements. Or I'm going to do my top five uh, favorite announcements. And then after this week, we'll do, um, we'll cover everything that's been announced during the week. It's usually not a lot. But since, you know, it's been almost over, it's almost been two months, so we'll just cover our, my top five, and let's go to it. Uh, number five, if you don't know, Pokken is the fighting Pokemon game that's coming out, and Pokken Tournament Championship Series has been confirmed. Pokemon has announced that Pokken Tournament will be joining the roster of fighting games at Las Vegas Evo Championship, which is the most prestigious prestigious fighting game event in the United States. This event will take place in July, and top finishing competitors will earn cash prizes. However, embedded in this announcement for Pokemon is also confirmation that Pokemon Tournament will have its own championship series for play Pokemon just like the TCG and video games. Uh, this will also be the first time a play Pokemon event is hosted through a par third party organization. Alright, so first off, let's go over this. Uh, let's go over the championship series. And this means that for nationals, there will actually be people competing for worlds invites at nationals or competing to be a national champion at you know u.s nationals this year which is definitely something different we've never seen anything like this before and i'm definitely excited to see how this is all going to play out now one of the things i'm going i wonder about is are they going to have new commentators like we have them for tcg we have them for vgc but will we have commentators for pokin for nationals like i wonder who those people are going to be and the cool thing uh like the first thing is uh the evo championship series i'm excited to see this that means a lot of more people a lot new people are going to be maybe you know brought brought back to pokemon you know a lot of these fighting people, they're people who play fighting games, probably don't play Pokemon that much. But once they start playing the Pokemon games, they might it might bring more people into the game. Just because, you know, you, you're like, oh, okay, I'm playing this fighting game, it's a Pokemon game. And if you're not really big into Pokemon, and you see that this is at a really big event like the Las Vegas Evo Championship, it might bring you back into Pokemon. And we could see an, e an increase of people playing maybe the card game, maybe the VGC. I'm not sure what's the ripple effect, ripple effect going to be uh, from the Pokemon tournament, but I definitely think it's going to bring a lot of new people into the game. But either way, I'm excited to see this at the uh, at the championship series. I wonder if it's going to be at Nationals this year or not. Maybe. We'll have to see. They, I don't think they confirmed that it's going to be at Nationals yet or not. And if they have, leave it down below. Let me know for sure. But I haven't seen anything on that. But either way, it's going to be cool to see. It's going to be cool to see how they do the points for championship points. Is, you know, how much they're going to be worth. How many championship points does it require for you to get your invite to Worlds or Nationals. Um, are they going to maybe... Where like where will regionals be or ever regionals where they be poker tournaments? Like I wonder how this is all gonna work out. I don't know. We'll have to see. Uh, but next up, number four, a new game has uh, not really been announced, but Great Detective Pikachu: The Birth of a Duo game coming in February. 
So Pokemon has finally unveiled the mysteries, mysterious, mysterious detective game they first teased in October 2013. Yeah, it's been two two years since they teased us, and they haven't uh, really, you know, re you know, proved anything or get got, got anything out. And we finally know what they uh, had with that trailer they released two years ago. The 3DS game is titled Great Detective Pikachu: The Birth of a New Duo. It will be released next week on February 3rd, and that is today. Uh, hopefully, if everything works out, this game should be released in Japan. And I'm, uh, you know, it's only been currently announced for Japan, but don't worry, it will probably come out in America. And if not, there's probably some ways you can get imported and make it work in your DS. I'm not 100% sure how that works, but I'm definitely, uh, I definitely love this game. And let's see, this game features a crime solving Pikachu unlike any ever seen before. It talks. It's loose? I don't know that word. Uh, drinks coffee, it smugs, it wears a Sherlock Holmes uh, hat, and has a human partner named Tim. Good man. In the trailer above, Pikachu sings, says things like, I smell a new case. Where do you think you're going? Let's find answers. Are you okay? And let's go, partner. The game's story begins with Tim, with, when Tim meets Pikachu in Rhyme City. The game is listed as a one-player cinematic adventure game with no apparent online or multiplayer features, so you will probably just investigate different cases and follow a certain plot. Since the game has a subtitle in its name, it's possible this will be the first of the future Great Detective Pikachu games. Uh, it costs around $10, and the game are pretty much be 10 and to be 13 after when the game comes down. Now, if you haven't seen the trailer, I'll leave the link down below to this trailer. Uh, you can look at it. I really do like this game a lot. It seems really cool. I like any new announcement with a Pokemon game that we haven't seen before. I'm just really hoping they make a Snap 2. I don't know anybody else. What do y'all think? I really wish they'd make a Pokemon Snap 2 for the Wii U or whatever the new Nintendo cost is called. The NX, whatever. Uh, but, Great Detective Pikachu, make sure you check out the video. And next up, we finally have the Generation Set info. Uh, they revealed a bunch of new stuff about Generations. They released some new stuff, some new cards. I'm not really going to worry about this. I'll leave a link down below. You can check it out. But the reason why it's in my number three spot is because of these energies. Alright, so let's look at these energies. I don't know if you have seen if you've seen them yet or not. But, okay, so usually when I play Pokemon, I usually play the second edition base set energies, and these look amazing. I might, I'm really considering playing these energies instead of my base set 2 energies, because these look incredible. We really haven't seen anything like these in a long time. I'm trying to think, since like, uh, since like... Call of Le not Call of Legends. Is it Call of Legends? The one that have Ho oh and uh, everything in the background of them. I don't think we've had anything since then, and this might be the first uh, English card since, or not English energy card since then. And I really want to pick up a place set of these, like twenty of each. Just have them ready to go. I need. Tw I know twenty seems high, but man, these just look so cool. Uh, you know, always I love grass. So I, I don't know what to see. I I, I just wonder how you're gonna get them. How easy are they gonna be to obtain? And I just want to place it all these. Oh my goodness, these look amazing. So that's why they're my third spot. They do have a bunch of new stuff. There's a Venusaur, Mega Venusaur, Charizard, a Mega Charizard, a Vaporeon, and an Arc Articuno. And like I said, I'll leave the link down below if you want to read about these cards. All right, and next up, the number two spot is Generations actually accidentally packaged in Breakpoint packs first cards. It seems like there was a production error with Breakpoint booster packs. Um, Poke Beach reader Kevin W. from Pokemon Forever pulled some generation cards out of his booster packs, which were in uncommon slots of his booster packs. You can see his Twitter images uh, below. As we know already, Generations is a mashup reprint set. You can see all the cards revealed so far here. Uh, the most surprising card pull was Imukana? Imukin? I'm not sure how to say the name. Uh, the card is a region. Originally released as a promo in Japan in 1997, it was released later into a modern era in 2013 in the Battle Boost. We never got a card under we never got the card under Wizard of the West Coast. We've never had an English basically reprint print of this card, and yeah, we're gonna get it, and I'll show you right here what it is. It's this Imukana, whatever. It makes sure you both act Pokemon are confused. Now we do see a lot of reprints: Crush Hammer, Energy Switch, Evo Soda, Back Survive, Maintenance, Pokeball, Center Lady, Fan Club, Red Card. Shauna and Team Flare Gun, but there is a Clement search deck for four lightning energy cards. Reveal them and put them into your hand. Shuffle your deck afterwards. There's Olympia, 
uh, switch your active Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon if you deal with all 30 damage. Uh, you moved to the to your bench. I guess you held the active for 30. Can't really read it. And there's Revitalizer. Put two Grass Pokemon from your discard pile into your hand. And then we also have these reprint Pokemon cards. Got Flayball, Coyster, uh, Graveler, a Crobat. Oh my goodness, this means there's going to be... Or Golbat, sorry. This means they're reprinting a Golbat and probably Crobat as well. And that's great because we know there's a Crobat break coming out in the future. Not sure when, but since this Golbat has been released, maybe that means that Crobat will have, uh, you know, like a Sneaky Bite, Spooky Bite, and something else. And if they do have that, that means like the Crobat will probably make it where it, has four, it puts four damage counters on any one of your opponent's Pokemon. I think that's what Crobat Break's going to do. Not 100% sure. I'm just guessing since that's what the Golbat and Crobat do. Uh, Haunter, Machoke, Metapod, Mr. Mime, Persian, and a DC have all been reprinted. And the DC being reprinted is a big deal as well. I don't think we've had a DC reprint in a couple of sets. And I think it was going to rotate out. But I think Generations keeps it into the game. So it's pretty crazy. Like This is why it's my number two spot. It was accidentally packaged into Breakpoint packs. So if you open up breakpoint make sure you look to see if you have some of these new generation cards um it, it's very funny that it happened and it's cool that we do know some of the cards it's not all of them um but it's still great to see those and finally what is the number one spot well the number one spot is of course uh the nationals announcement nationals is going back to columbus pokemon has announced that nationals returning to columbus ohio this year it'll take place at the greater columbus convention center from july 1st through July 3rd. Nationals is last in Columbus in 2008 during the Origins Convention, which is rumored when, when we're flying around uh, that would be moving to Indianapolis the following year due to mismanagement of the tournament style by the Origins staff. But Origins is in June this year, so it seems the Pokemon won't be sharing the space with any third party conventions like they did in 2008. The event will feature, as usual, TCG and Video Game Camp Championship, but this year will also feature a Pokemon Tournament competition. So it does have the National Pokemon Tournament competition. The big question is, do you have to have play points or any kind of points to enter this tournament? Or... Are they going to let everybody into the game? I'm not 100% sure. No real announcement has been announced about this. Uh, as expected, the game is probably going to be integrated to Pokemon larger events. And I'm actually excited to see how the uh, the game integrates into things. And let's look at... Uh, hold on, let's see here. Uh, let's see. I think there's the pictures. Yeah, these are pictures from the... Uh, the the Ohio, the Columbus trip, and I'm excited. We haven't been outside. We haven't been anywhere else uh, since Indianapolis for nationals uh, since 2010. Yeah, two, or 2011. Is 11 or 10? 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. It might be 2011 through 2015. Either way, it's been in Indianapolis for a long time. And here are some pictures from Columbus. I wonder if we can see anybody we know. Oh, let's see. Just look at it. Okay, so here's you know it looks. Kind of the same. This is like back in, what is it, it says, 2008. So it looks kind of the same. Same concept as we've seen in Indianapolis. I can't imagine it changing that much. I have, Is this in the same hotel or not? I'm not 100% sure. Let's see. Let's go to this one. All right. Look at through more pictures. Let's see. All righty. Let's see if we notice anybody. Uh... I don't know this right off the top of my head, but still, that's a really big event. It's a really big place. If you've never been to Nationals, make sure you go this year if you have the opportunity to go to Ohio. It is a great experience. I love it a lot. Hey, there's a, look at that. Look at that. Blow up uh, Chimchar. All right. Oh, look at this. This is always cool. They always have people uh, come out in Pokemon costumes, and you can take pictures of them. They have Pikachu every year. I doubt they'll have uh, the other three right now. Uh, what is it? Pip up. Turtwig and Chimchar. Let's go to Sunday National Pictures. I think this must be the championship. Yep. Oh, good old Gene Drew. There we go. Uh, okay. Yeah, this must have been. Yeah, Drew and Gino must have played. Not sure. Was this the finals? I don't know. I don't know. But thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully, you enjoyed this episode of Wednesday's Weekly Report. I know it's kind of just around everywhere, you know, just looking at everything. But it is. A lot of fun. I'm, I'm excited for sure about Pokemon. And like I said, next week we'll cover everything new that come out from Pokemon or the Poke Beach website. And if I missed something, uh, like what's your like? If I missed something, let me know down in the comments. Let everybody else know what kind of announcement that I missed that you like the most. But thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. Alrighty, bye.